Okay, so we have the Nest battery right here. And uh, if you've done a lot of research at this point, you probably come to this video because you want to know like a couple of ideas on how to install it over an Ethernet cable. I'm sure you've probably seen this adapter by now. If you haven't, this is an adapter that you can get um, from Westerstein. And yeah, I bought this through Best Buy. You can also get it through Amazon. Uh, there's a whole bunch of outlets. You can get it from, it's about 30 bucks. Now what this does is it takes the 48 volts over the ethernet cable and converts it to five volts like the USB does for the camera. I'm sure there's multiple ways to do this. Um, you could probably get a uh, PoE to USB and plug the actual USB cable in. I felt like this cable is a little bit rugged um, and it has a cool weatherproof design, which I prefer over just the regular Ethernet cable. It's also conveniently packaged. You only need one adapter. Um, it, it doesn't fit in a single gang box, so that's the drawback. Um, the way to get around the uh, box, single gang box, is you're going to take a hole saw and around the area where you're going to mount the camera, that's where you're going to make your hole. Okay, so the hole saw here. This is how we can avoid an electrical box. The hole saw is going to allow us to just stick this right in the wall and then this cable comes out of the uh, exterior wall. Okay, it's super simple. Instead of having to add an electrical gang box there, um, I'm assuming most people are following an electrician or somebody who has uh, an ethernet cable just sticking out of a wall already. This is a good option for that. So these are your two screw points here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clip and you're going to simulate it snapping into the wall. So you're going to rotate these these uh, until they are completely perpendicular. Okay, and I needed two hands for that, so I had to do that by with two hands. Okay, so the next step, um, I grabbed a couple of different drill bits, and I have this snapped in. You can see this is completely snapped in to simulate as if it was on the wall. So your puck would be on the wall this way. So you can put some tape around here um, just to protect the finish if you're worried about it um, because the drill will slip and you know you'll end up snapping into the magnet or something it's very magnetic so you got to be careful with it and maybe you should tape it up this was a sacrificial putt because you know i do this for a living and i just wanted to see how i can do this permanently from now on um, just to uh, you know because there's no solution out there professionally to do this so you have to make your own now, probably not going to be able to do this with one hand but you can get the deal this after you drill a hole, this goes through here on the other side. Okay, we got the wire through. You can see that that drill bit was the perfect size to get the head through. Okay, and this drill bit is 15, 30 seconds. So you can see there, 15, 32. That is the perfect size drill bit to get the cable through. And uh, I ended up breaking the clip a little bit here, but you can see that this is the magnet, the middle part is the magnet, and this part is just plastic. So you could drill straight through that. Um, I don't think it's gonna compromise anything by breaking it, but again, like I said, this is a sacrificial puck, so you know, not, not to worry right now. Okay, now that we got that set up, we can snap our camera in, and I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look. So we can see on the wall, we have this coming through. So we'll just put some silicone down on that hole when we're done. And uh, you can see here that the cable, for some reason, they made the cable go backwards looping around. So I'm not really sure why they did that, but you can see that there's a screw hole here, I'm assuming for some kind of security device that screws the cable. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to make the hole for the adapter to go through the wall. Okay, so the hole saw size that I have here, let's see if we can still see it, it's very old, one and a half is the perfect size I find that we can put the adapter straight into the wall. So if you wanted to do this a little differently, you can get a double gang box and you'd have to stick this thing inside. I'm not even sure if this would fit in a double gang box though, to be honest, because a single gang box is slow. So if you had a double gang box, you might be able to fit it diagonally, but it's pretty big and bulky. So this is the problem that we're having right now or most people are having now. So you could do the low voltage box, stick it through the low voltage box, and then you would have to have a plastic plate there or a metal plate. Uh, but the easier thing to do and the better thing to do, I think would be to just take your mounting plate, your mounting uh, plates right here. And so the best thing to do is to line the hole on the wall 
away from the mounting screws, okay? So as long as the mounting screws are away from this hole, then uh, this plastic, I'm trying to get through, it's gonna stick magnetically though. It's very hard to do this with one hand. But yeah, if you take this hole, just make sure that your hole on your wall is not anywhere near your mounting screws and you should be good. So that wire will come right out through your hole and through this hole and you'll be good. Um, and that way you can hide the hole that you made with the puck, you can put some silicone in there and be safe. Um, and then you can just put your puck right over that hole that you made in the wall. Um, and that way you don't have to have any single gang boxes or double gang boxes the camera mounts to and it's a much more luxurious look. Okay, and the next step, and I have a patch cable. This patch cable is uh, would be your long run. That would be the run from the basement or wherever you have your your uh, camera. This this uh, this will be in the basement. So your 48 volt uh, uh, PoE adapter will be in your basement or wherever. Um, you would snap the uh, long run into the adapter. You'd put the adapter in the wall somewhere, and you you know you got to worry. Make sure <laughs> make sure the wire and the adapter doesn't fall all the way into the wall. You can secure it inside the wall if you have to. Um, but again, you know, I'm not really worried about the cable falling inside of the wall because it's going to be mounted to the camera and then I'm going to secure it to the camera with a security device from here. So just make sure that you don't drop the cable in the wall. Also, because this thing is really small hole, after you silicone this hole, this thing is pretty much impossible to get through unless you really work at it. So it's not going to fall through the hole or anything. You don't have to worry about the adapter falling in the wall or falling up because it, it's just pretty much impossible for this thing to fit after you've drilled the hole. Okay, so that is the best way to do it. And when I go to install this camera, I will make another video and I'll just link that as part two. Okay, so hopefully this helps somebody out. All right.